Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're going to be tying a Ray Charles. It's a real easy pattern, really good so bug, scud, that sort of imitation. Developed on the bighorn but you can take it anywhere, whether it's a limestone creek, tailwater, those sorts of things tend to have a pretty robust scud and sow bug population. Anywhere you'll find those, this fly will get eaten. You can tie it in a ton of different sizes probably a 10 all the way down to a 22 or so, but today we have a number 12 uh, A-Rex FW561 hook in the vise. We're gonna lay down that trademark red thread. It's gonna give our head and clip that out. And we're gonna move into some ostrich hurl. And we're gonna move right into some ostrich hurl. This is the color tan. You can tie this fly in a gray, white, maybe a light pink, peach, something like that. But I, uh, I'm i going with tan. It'll match most sow bugs and scuds that I encounter. So I'm gonna tie this in first. Every time I use ostrich, unless I'm tying it in a streamer or something for movement, I'm just gonna snip those tips right off because they tend to be kind of brittle. So from there, I'm gonna wind this in at about just behind the eye of the hook. And I wanna wind that back so that we have a nice clean underbody. A clean underbody always gives a clean body. So I tend to be pretty strict about that in my own time. From there, move on into some small ultra wire, color copper. We're gonna put it on just like we did with that ostrich pin trap and Bring it on back. Alrighty. So from there, it's only a few material fly and everything we are using, you can find at tridentflyfishing.com. Orders over 49 bucks ship free as well. So we need about two inches. It's really more about having something to work with than it is the length of the fly. Cause you only need to cover it the entire shank with it. So just like we did with everything else, I wanna get that in clean on the top of the hook. That way when we pull it over, it's not cocked off to one side or anything. And we will bring that all the way back and you can advance your thread forward. If you need to clean anything up, I'm gonna run mine back once, but if you need to clean it up, definitely do so now. And now we're going to come in with our ostrich hurl and wrap it nice, neat wraps side by side. And you want to take it all the way up to just behind the eye. I'm using tan ostrich right now, but this is a fly you can tie in, you know, whites, grays, even a light peach or so, anything that matches those natural scuds and sow bugs in your area but tan is a pretty safe bet everywhere you go we're getting towards the head all right that's fine tie that off pull it back i like to tie in front of it just for durability's sake and i'll even throw a half hitch in there just because if you get to that point and your thread goes loose, you kinda gotta start from the top. So now I'm gonna pull this over directly on top of the fly and hold it in, get it secured. You can adjust it if you need to, but that's perfect for me. I'm gonna hit this with a half hitch too. I'm kinda strict about that just cause I I hate to see things fail. Clip that, and now we're gonna come in with our copper wire. Some nice, evenly spaced wraps there. This provides both durability and segmentation. Segmentation's a crucial element to pretty much all of these crustaceans. So get that tied in, and then save your scissors, pop it right off. You can create a nice little red head, which I think is a nice attracting element, and hit it with a half hitch, and then a whip finish. 
And that is uh, Ray Charles. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.